Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I'm frustrated with people that I love. I'm frustrated with the world. Many people think they're a Christian and they're not. Many people think they have a relationship with God, but they don't. Many people make up God in their head that doesn't exist and that's a sin. We should have no other gods besides our Lord. Many people don't bother reading the Bible or researching the biblical world they live in. Many people I love mock and scoff at this channel I do, even though I think it's important. And I'm not saying I'm important. I'm saying putting this information out there, I've gotten a lot of feedback from people, and that's what I want to focus on. Not what I say about myself, but what others say about me. And I hope you guys know what I mean, right? If someone's like, hey, I didn't understand this biblical cosmology thing, but you kind of helped me to see this a little bit. If, if I can help people to know God f like at all, or to know God more closely, because biblical cosmology makes God closer to us, and we can know him closer. That's all I'm saying with a lot of these things. And that is a blessing, and I, I, I take no credit for it, because... I wouldn't be doing this without Jesus Christ. I wouldn't live my life without Jesus Christ. He has saved my life. He has given me strength to overcome obstacles in my life. I am so grateful to Him. I pray about things. I, I have prayed about things for myself, but usually I just pray about being a good and faithful servant and about other people, like knowing God more and to have healing blessings and miracles in their lives. God hears my prayers, and I'm so grateful for that. It's a wonderful feeling. I'm happy about that. A lot of people accuse me of not having a happy channel. Well, again, if you're exposing the, the deceitful, lying world, it's not like, yay, this is so awesome. Everyone seems to be a sellout. This is wonderful news. It's not wonderful news. But I try and joke around a bit and have some humor on this channel. I am far from a perfect person. I'm a sinner in need of a Savior, but I've realized that Savior. I have read the Bible, and I continue to. I don't read it as much as I should. I should read it every single day, but I don't, honestly. I do a lot of YouTube and research, and I'm not alone in this. Many brothers and sisters, we fellowship on YouTube from around the world. It's a letdown when loved ones say, like, I believe in God, I'm a Christian, but they don't. They don't at all. They don't read the Bible. They don't know the biblical Jesus Christ. They may not even know Jesus Christ. They may just say God in general. God is out in the universe. God is the universe. That kind of hip, wishy-washy stuff. I am not trying to be mean on this channel. I am trying to be like blunt and to the point because... Today is the day of salvation. There's no messing around. People can die in an hour, tomorrow, the next day. No one knows when they're going to die. And you should be saved before you die, so you go to heaven. How do you be saved? We're all sinners. You must recognize that fact. We're all sinners. There's no good people. Do people do good things and act good at times? Yes, but no one is good compared to God we fall way short of His glory. We're all sinners that need a Savior. If you think there's many paths to heaven and you respect other religions and blah, 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 that kind of stuff, you are misguided and you're not telling the truth. If people want to call Christians and myself narrow-minded, go for it. The path is narrow. Few will find it. We're told this in the Bible. You know, that book that you don't read ever. So, moving on with this video. Let's look at Lewis Hamilton, the race car driver. When I Google someone's name, very often the term net worth comes up. And in this case, I clicked on it because I was interested in hearing his net worth. And also, I don't like to capitalize the sellout's names. I capitalize God and Jesus Christ and other things. But Lewis Hamilton, as an example, when I make my video like Lewis Hamilton in the biblical world or whatever I'm going to name it, I want it to be all lowercase because I don't have respect for him. I want his name to be lowercase. That might be petty to some people, but I think some of you will know what I mean, right? It's like, 
No, I'm not, I'm not capitalizing this guy's name. This guy's a sellout. Why would I want to pay any respect to this guy? I love him and want him to go to heaven, but I'm not going to respect his signs, symbols, and agendas. So Lewis Hamilton, the race car driver, a guy that drives a fancy car around in a circle, gets $300 million. That seems legit, right? We, we don't live in a broken world or anything. <laughs> like, what a joke. People could have all the money they want. They can figure that out, whatever, right? Like, you know, money's fine. We all need it to survive and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, $300 million for driving a race car? I don't know. Here he is in his race car suit. He's throwing up the devil horns. It's probably because he's rock and roll, right? He's got some hand tattoos looking pretty occult and esoteric. He's got the eye and the pyramid illuminated. He's got the quote-unquote planets. He's got a UFO abducting a person. He's got some sacred geometry. And I'm sure these other things mean more to him and whatever, but looking pretty occult there, Lewis Hamilton. Looking a little esoteric there with your signs and symbols. People should realize that when people cross their arms like this, it's a Freemasonry pose called the Osiris Risen pose. Osiris was an Egyptian quote-unquote god, and this is the pose he did, right? There's also another pose like Osiris Awakened or Osiris Risen, I should say. He's using a camera that looks like it's from like the 1970s, and it's darkening one eye utterly, doing one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. He's doing the vow of silence, keeping the secret of the biblical world about how fame, fortune, and success work, and most likely about Freemasonry. Speaking of Freemasonry, he hides his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. He hides his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, index fingers together, other fingers interlocked. This gesture is supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer. The name Lucifer means light bearer. In Freemasonry, the light they seek to move up in degrees is the false light of Lucifer. Lucifer is Satan, the enemy of God and Christians, the enemy of everyone, in fact. He's on his way to hell, hopefully very soon. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra again, with his index fingers together, other fingers interlocked, because he's so enlightened, right? He's got UFOs on his knuckles and, like, the eye of Horus and whatever. Of course he does. Once you know these signs, symbols, and agendas, you will see it everywhere. These people are not original. They're not, they're not like, doing anything that's, you know, new. Nothing is new under the sun. This is the same Freemason garbage from Babylon and Egypt and Sumeria and like all the early, all the early societies, which God did not get along with because they did not believe in God. They believed in magic and witchcraft and Kabbalah and blah, 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 blah. All that stuff, which is esoteric, uh, occult, like, right? It's hidden in plain sight, as they say. Oh, that's a guitar pedal thing I was doing. Never mind. I guess that's the end of the video, brothers and sisters. It's frustrating having people that you love mock, mock your channel, which you put a lot of effort into. I've had people tell me that like, hey, you've helped me to see biblical cosmology or hey, you, you helped me to know that Jesus is closer than I thought. Something like that. I'm not talking about myself here. I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I'm one member of the body of Christ and I'm honored to be so. I pray about being a good and faithful servant, not a false accuser, someone who tells the truth. I, I take this very seriously. I have a YouTube channel for many years. I've been researching the truth since 2015 when my life got flipped, turned upside down and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. And I always make that joke just because, right? Like I, everyone knows the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song, but right when my life got flipped turned upside down in 2015, instead of ending my life, I wanted to know the truth and the meaning of life. I got sidetracked by the new age because I wasn't going to look into the Bible or Jesus. No, that's wrong already. Even though I never did any research about it, I never even tried, but the new age got me. I could do it myself, right? Eat healthy, do meditation, chakras, do have some crystals around, blah, 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 all the, like listen to binaural beats and meditation music. I was doing all of that thinking I was connecting with God, but I was not. Reading God's word, being in prayer, and, do, and following God's commandments, that is connecting with God. Who is God? Jesus is God. Our Father is God. The Holy Spirit is God. I know some people differ on that, but, you know, that's what I believe. I believe God is three persons in one God. 
Uh, you know, I focus mostly on Jesus Christ because he's my Lord, God, and Savior. I love him very much. He's done so much for me. He comforts me. I am grateful for him beyond all measure. He has blessed me with a wonderful family, my mom and grandparents, who I love the most because they're my closest family, but I love all my family, even if they don't get my channel and think I'm a crazy person. They don't research or read the Bible or do anything about that. They, they just go, nope, and, and the, the, right, brush it off or just think I'm a crazy person. That's fine. They'll find out one day. Hopefully it's not in hell when they have an, an eternity of regret, whether, in, whether you know, they're in fire and brimstone and, uh, you know, Lazarus and the rich man, right? Lazarus, the, the poor beggar. Dogs licked his sores, I believe. And then the rich man who, once he was in hell, right, he wanted uh, Lazarus, or I think it was Lazarus, he wanted to dip his, dip his finger in water and touch his tongue. The Bible gives many, like, depictions of, like, hell and torment. And it is not a good thing for anyone. I don't know why this world thinks it's going to be a party in hell with their friends and stuff. Oh, all my friends will be there. And, like... I sold my soul to the devil, says many, many people in the music industry and actors and all that stuff. I don't understand it. Why wouldn't you want to be a good person and go to heaven with God? And again, when I say be a good person, none of us are good. We're all fallen sinners, but we can do good things. We can repent of sin. I know some people say repentance is works-based, but I don't, I don't believe it is works-based. I think it goes along with salvation. And am I a perfect person? No, I'm far from it. But I don't like sin. I apologize to God for when I do sin. And I pray about being a good and faithful servant. And I want to do more than that. So brothers and sisters, we looked at a race car driver named Lewis Hamilton. He gets $300 million for driving around in a circle. And he does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. And he's got... Uh, the eye and the triangle on his knuckle or on his hand. He's got some sacred geometry, which is new age. He's got a UFO abducting someone, aliens or demons. And he's got the quote unquote planets. The earth is flat, motionless and domed. Many people know this. I will link in the description below and in the comments section. If you haven't heard of the channel called Flat Earth and Coffee. I believe the man's name is Bobby. He does a great job. And I watched a video this morning where he shows that forever people believed in flat motionless domed earth and it wasn't until 500 years ago with copernicus and blah 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 that people started going oh the earth is a globe out in outer space heliocentric model the earth is geocentric and i've said many times earth is creation earth is creation it's not like the planets and the stars the planets are like the stars they're lights in the sky so when people show a disc out in space or a square out in space with the other round planets. They are a mocker and a deceiver and deceive themselves on their way to hell, probably. Knowing biblical cosmology is very important because it's the truth. Knowing where you live, knowing the Bible is true, and you can like look at the world and go, okay, that measures up. That's all I'm saying with most of these videos is that the world is biblical, Jesus Christ is Lord, God, and Savior. He died for us on the cross, of course, was buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures, even just by his tattoos. Eye of Horus illuminated, sacred geometry, aliens, planets, right? You, you can just see, right? This person's deceived and a deceiver. And not only that, right? He does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, ask me. Brothers and sisters, another day closer to redemption. Keep looking up. God bless you.